Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are unboxing the Micromax Canvas Nitro A310. Available for 12,990, it comes with a 1.7 GHz true octa core CPU. You have a 5 inch HD IPS display with an oleophobic coating to prevent fingerprints. You have 2 gigs of RAM, 8 GB ROM, which is expandable up to 32 GB, 13 megapixel rear camera with Sony IMX135 sensor, 5 megapixel front facing camera with a BSI sensor there too. Full HD video playback and recording, Android 4.4 KitKat running on the device. You do have a 2500 mAh battery also available on the phone. It's removable. So now let's open up the box and see what we get. At the very top you can see that's the Micromax Canvas Nitro. We have got the blue color for you. I'll keep that aside. Let's see what else is there. So there you have a downloading guide right there. You have a blink screen guide. That's a new lock screen. And you have several other information including about quick look. We'll check that out as well. Warranty statements, our notification and the user guide right there. And you also get a free screen card in the box. Always nice to see. You won't have to hunt for that. And there you have your battery and headset. Let's have a look. So this is your 2500 mAh battery. You can see it right there. It's a lithium polymer unit. Next up we have a wired headset. Black in color it seems. Let me just take that out as well. So it's a different style of headset from Micromax. We haven't seen these before. These do look really cool and we'll check how these perform. Single button interface to end and receive calls. And you have another box which will probably have your charger and the micro USB data syncing and charging cable. So those things are out. It's a new style charger from Micromax. It does have LED to tell it's working fine. I can see the USB port right there and it's rated at 1 MPS so it will be able to charge your phone faster. Here's the micro USB data syncing and charging cable. And that's pretty much everything you get inside the box. Folks this is the Micromax Canvas Nitro. Let me just take it out of its plastic cover. So there you see the blue back cover. Some specifications we have already talked about those. On the left you have the volume rocker which is very sturdy. The phone feels really light. That's something good to see here as well. Very sturdy buttons. Moving to the back, you have sort of a leatherized finish. If you see that, you do have false stitching on the side, but it's less pronounced and doesn't have that ugly lip on its side. You have a 13 megapixel camera, Sony IMX135 sensor, LED flash at the bottom of the speakerphone, which will get muffled. On the right, you have the power button at the top, 3.5M audio jack. At the bottom, primary microphone, and you also have the micro USB, data syncing and charging port. The phone feels really solid in the hand. And the soft touch back makes it feel good to hold. Now let's open up the back cover and we'll have a look at the SIM card arrangement. The back cover is really sturdy as well. So that's another bonus. It feels good as well. It's a bit glossy but not that much. It won't attract fingerprints. So you have two micro SIM card slots and you have the micro SD card slot on the right. Now let's put in the 2500 mAh battery and we'll power on the phone for the very first time. That's a battery in. It's a very snug fit. Now even with the battery and the back cover on, the phone doesn't seem that heavy. And it feels like a really compact device for a 5 inch smartphone. It isn't that thick as well. The back which is sort of curved makes the phone easier to hold. And it feels good to hold in the hand too. Now we are powering on the phone for the very first time. You can see the powered by Android and Micromax logo. So you have an oleophobic coating in the front panel which prevents fingerprints. If they do occur, you can simply wipe the display off. 5 megapixel front facing camera with BSI sensor, proximity and light sensor along with a notification LED up top, 5 inch HD IPS display, capacitor buttons at the bottom which do light up. Now we are at the home screen, you can see quick look to the left, trending apps to the right. Now you can see that there are several apps that have come pre-installed and not just the basic Google apps, so some bloatware is there on the device. So there is nothing new in the notification shade, let's jump into settings. In about you will be able to see that it's a Micromax Nitro running. Android 4.4.2 KitKat right out of the box. Software updates are also available. So you have about 5.3 GB of internal storage that is available to you out of the 8 gig ROM. Storage is expandable up to 32 gigs. USB OTG might also be supported. We'll check that out. You have about 890 MB RAM that's free which is a bit strange and it's quite less given that the phone has just booted up. We have something called clear motion which will probably enhance frame rate in videos as well as games. We'll check that out. Now coming to the home screen, you do have customizations, you can add widgets to it as well. It's like the Google Now Launcher. 
You do have gesture support available on the Canvas Nitro. You can pinch in, pinch out. With two fingers, you can flick up, down, right or left. So let's say I want to increase volume with two finger flick up and you see that the volume is increased. Now these might be handy. You would be able to control media playback. You can also open up several apps or the app drawer. So all these options would be available to you. It's very easy to use interface. It's quite fluid as well. You can see that the touch response of the display is quite good. Now let me just show you the color reproduction as well. The viewing angles are very wide, no distortion, brightness and colors. And you can see colors look natural. They are vibrant and quite sharp too. Now this is quick look. I'm just refreshing for content. And you can see that it shows up your weather. It shows a clock as well. And here's the list of articles. You can customize the feed with content that you actually want to see. Now this is the default camera interface from MediaTek. You do have touch to focus available. Panorama shot, live video mode, and you do have the V gesture to take photographs. HDR mode is also available, voice capture, and you can see that 13 megapixel shots can be taken. Now this is the camera widget. You can take selfies, front and back shots, and a stable shot, which will use the accelerometer. Now this is blink screen, the new lock screen from Micromax. It is showing a notification. So what you can do is simply jump into a notification and the app would open them. You do have a notification LED right up top too. Now the notification does keep pulsing for a little while and you can directly jump into an app by tapping on the notification. It's a very customizable, very easy to use as well and you can simply swipe up to come to your default home screen. Overall, it's a very stock looking Android experience. There's some attention to design here. The lip on the side of the front panel protects the display. Overall, a very solid build quality. You have the 13 megapixel camera at the back with Sony sensor, Octa core processor clocked at 1.7 gigahertz and 2 gigs of RAM. Overall, it's a great smartphone and a great competitor to the Moto G at Rs. 12.990. We'll be back with its benchmark comparison with the Moto G and a gaming review very soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and also do enter our Xiaomi 10 400mAh power bank giveaway. Thanks for watching and have a great day.